Now I'll show you how to work a back post double crochet. I have two front post double crochets here that I showed in the last video. To do a back post double crochet, we want the posts to go behind this ridge. To do that, we'll yarn over. And instead of putting our hook behind the post, this time we want our whole ho hook to go in front of the post. So we need to tuck our hook behind our work, up toward us, over the top of the post, and to the back of the work. Then I'm going to draw up a loop, and this can be a little bit tricky to do, so you may need to hold your fabric down with your hand. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through two to complete the double crochet. The resulting stitch has its post hidden behind the top of these stitches. But if I look at the back, the post goes all the way up. So I'll work another back post double crochet. I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook behind the work, up and around that back post, yarn over and carefully draw up a loop. I'll complete the double crochet by yarning over and pulling through two twice. So now I have two front post double crochet followed by two back post double crochet. The front posts result in stitches with posts that are raised up and in the front. A back post double crochet has a stitch where the posts are behind your stitch line and they are pushed behind, so they're pushed to the back. These stitches are often used to work ribbing in cuffs or hats and as decorative elements in other types of crochet projects.